deeq haaji wa hooyo Soomaaliyeed oo ku noolahaayo wa hooyo dhalinyara isla markaana wax baratay waxay la kulantay dhacdo xanuun badan oo hooyo walba iyo qof walba oo dareen waalidnimo la taabanaysa waxa deeq laga qaatay dhowr bilood ka hor wiilkeeda yarka kaas oo xilligii dhalashadiisa dhaawac u soo gaaray waxay deeq ku sheegtay in dhaawac uu ka soo gaaray isbitaalka xilligii dhalashadiisa laakiin isbitaalka ayaa arintaasi dhanka deeq u riixay oo ku doodo in deeqo dhibku ka gaaray ayada wiilkeeda waxaana bilowday baaritaan aan xisaab lahayn kuwaas oo ugu dambeyn sababay in deeqo ilmihi yara laga la wareego oo haada qaabilsan caruurtu ay ka haysato deeqo waxay dhexda u xiratay inay difaacdan nafteeda isla markaana cunugeeda soo ceshato waxay qabsatay qareenno waxayna qeyladan u dirsatay Soomaalida gobolka Ohio waxa hore loo qabtay dhowr kulan oo Soomaalida dhexdeeda taas oo lagu la fagurey sidii deeq loo caawin lahaa in kasto oo dadaaladu socdeen ma jirin guulo la gaaray waxa se markii dambe loo gudbiyay in hay'adda muslimiinta Mareykanka ee keera qayb ka noqoto barnaamijka taas oo kulan ay isugu yimaadeen dad yow kala duwan ku qabatay xarintooda keera magaalada Columbus waxa ka soo qayb galay madaxda keera علماء الدين مسؤولين صومالي ذاك السعودي يقيبها برشدة كوا صور دمانتو تلمامي هل كحالة دوكا قلع سنتهاي وحي فرين أدقو درين اسبتها لا أرين تاني كودة جن أو أيقو أي كسوعن لا أدها دنكو ذا كونة دو ذا يا إن أيقو واحد دن بيا أن لو قبسنين أرين تاني كوري تشي دين عديقا تاس أو كانتي إن لو يرى مسكح دا دو إيسن قلي كرينا إلا بدا دينا عوكالا دودان مسوليين كل اقلا كيساس كان يسي دو كلا يتانا فرنيما او درين جالي دا ها مسلمين تاي مغالا دا كولومبوس ايه لها اللين ايه اونا سي غونيا ايه اونا كو تلمامي إن ما انت لو باهن يهي إن لقرا بستاقا ديقا داد كا هل ليه وحا كمي دا ها ديقا حاتي او كشي كين اسي مرحالة دي هاي سو مرتي كوا سو تاب تاي قلبية دا داد كي كسو قيب قلي وحانا لسكو افغرتي إن ديقا سي بوحدة لولا بادي قوبا المه دا لقانا دفاع او قرد الرد اللوغو هايو برنامج كا ديقا إن كستو او رجا واناك سن اي جرتو هادانا حالا دول باو حي كو حيران تاهي دا دال كلا ساميو سومالي دا قبل كو او هايانا وحي اون نقون دون تاهي تيجا بهور تاهيان برنامج كان وحا او اها برنامج آدي آد او تابتاي قلوب تا انتي كسو قيب قشي وحا او نو دعي سيدة تان ماشا وحا او جوغا انا سبورت غري ولا شي ديقو ولا شي ديقو واقبر very strong اه كوميونيتي قد تكسي ده وعاوزه سيد أقرب تاعنا تواينا أقرب سنعنا هدانا هني بلشدة سوماليات أو كولومبس أو هاي دجن مقالة دان وان كوب كرني وان كود على ناي وان شوجنا هدانا هني سومالي سومالي كل جين وحادين شيلدرن هاسبرال متقارم الوحادين خفك ولا لكن أه قرب استعجا وحأوبا هنتين إنا سبتالا داس حتى أليس كجوجسين أو لرادسين وح وعيال ذي نملك أو رادسين because this is very important عن قبائل ذي هدي ما تلاقي قاتي أين كسبورت غريني ولا شين tomorrow أين كني قد عيسى عيال دلعي عيال دشي قفل بعيال ودلعي we're all here ماشى وحك سومالي أنا هنا community علينا هاي community أنا قفك ولا لك استعجي أو هلاي هدانا ما تجرب استعجين أدق يا بريكو جرب استعجيو nobody please and please so بحا سومالي أفر يشن كم جوكتين أنت أصو كنا سومالي مجالة الدجن إسكو صو بحا إسبتالة دكتور ياشا هأذنا جوجية أنت أصو سومالي دكتور ياشا قبل ها قبل أنك كمبلين غرينيس أو أذن كن أنا كعيال كني أذن أنا كل هذا عيال كي جا أذو بلس from now on I have to إنا أروح راديو because of عيال كولا شيء وما أنت دبتونا أو لقى هذا أنا أنا إدي بيسا بكوز عنو جيجا بريكو دعايا مركو ولاشين اقرب استاقنو ايضا دادك اقرب استاقتا بلشين صومالي دي وصودو حقشا وينا لا هذا شا دي نعول بي استاقن تحي ديقا نيدا رايد ما شاء الله تبارك الله المير والله بس نجرا ايا لغا هيستا ديقا نحق درا انا لغا هيستا مركا بليس ان بليس اور صومالي كومونتي استاند فور ديقا ديقا حاجي المال لغا جيرا او بلا حق درا لغا هيستا with no reason مركا وحن إلهي أرتو أكبر يعني إلهي أقصوق هذا دقة حق درد الله جه يست علمه هذا مركا إن شاء الله كل جين وحن بري يعني أنا صوا وذا كعدان كولومبس شوقة and شوقة United States everywhere stand for دقة please and please we are mother هو يكستن ويدريميسا المك مقن ما أنت دن وان أوي نيء اللي أنت عشنا يي يعني و و وح هو يكستوا وسقيسه أرنت دقة هيستها 
Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Khadija Ghazali. I am a friend of Dekha's, a sister of Dekha's. I heard about this incident that happened. Very hurt to hear where things are going. We need to stand, each other, uh, stand with each other to help her with this process. Inshallah, um, she gets justice. This is not fair on her, on the whole family. Um, she has all the right to know what's going on with her kids. Inshallah, let's come together. So, Imada sought Garabistaga for everything that she's going through, inshallah. Bismillah, Alhamdulillah. And Manta Hanjogna, Hafizka Kerr, Ohio. And Hafizka Sultan in the Manu Hawi in a Lala Hain press conference. Or Hafizka and Kula Hain press conference in Udarin Hay. And Garabistaga Walash and Dakahaji. سيد الله سبحانه وتعالى بدقة وح لقى هاي ستة أما يكون دبعة توتي وهو يويل يرى هذا الشيء لابد يصنع له صودا فود بيسي ويل كده وحنو صنع يا وحكله وركت قلوين كان children services كان اسم تالا ده since سيد nationwide أما من كورمل وحنكو عطسني إن إني ريليز قريان medical records كده ويل كده دقة هذا الشيء ما هذا وحنكو عطسني يا community الصومالية إني صوب بحان وجر بستجان أنا أرين كان ما أنت كود على ذي الدقة وهي كود عكرة إسهوية وليبا وصومالية وهي كود على ذي هوية مبدن وصومالية هذي مركا أينو إزجار بستاجن أو أينو موجود وح أينو جيسين كرنا أما كيس كي يجي مش عن جرسي سين كرنا ده وحدة عكرة تقف وليبا هوية وليبا نجيس كده ودي بتوتو مركا ما أنت دقة نوجنا ولا شين دقة إن العاونة إن إزجار بستاجنا to make sure that medical records كي المهاير إن الرجلس قريش. فتالك أقول لكن لا بد يصنعوا دم السكوت دقن عين. ويل كي والله جاهزة. مركز جليد سومالية فضل صباحا. ولا شيء قريب استجا. وما سنتين. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. لما أنا شعبك سومالية. كلام بسيط واحد يقول كنا الأد بنادين سلامية. ومركز يعني جو أه أمال حسين. مركز رح ندون يعني الله سبحانه وتعالى أم هاد علي أو مات نصور تقرية. إن أنا هالكنس كقولنا معنا. إن هذا كفر القينة إن كجنا حل إن دبعت هذه صفة صارت ولا شيء. دقي يوسف يوحي كلام كلام تي هاد كار سيستم كا. إن مركي لقصة بلابو إلا يلمها ذي المركي وكل شيء ما كان مثلاً إن إلا يا مركي اللي جيه سبت على كتير من ساس برال إلا يا مالك ما أنتوا عينو تشوفنو إذا كنت أضرب مهمة وحيد هاي إنه قصة مالية مثلاً إن أنا ولا لي الموقف كأنه ما لقصة وذي شيء سنو إسقرب بستعجنو إسقرب بستعجنو استعجرنو إسوه هي لنا إسوه سو قرمنا محايا له حتى مدا أنا كنا جم مدا اللي بعته يا أو أنا هذا ما أنت أنا كأي ما هي سطح حقيقة وحيد هاي مر أنا دارين أنا أديك نقصة جاريسو هذه أدب ولا يلوم هالسنتين وحرتين يا سومالي ومدا يستن مال بدون تعلق ذكر شوكتو قولي استع حنا ولا عت سوماليا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ما أنت هالك وحنون مد قبل ولا شيء دقي يوسف حاجي ده تكون ويكون ما تسيهين بالشدة كميناتو دوت كم من نمدا يكو قيمة ليهين إلهي إنه حاول يشين إنه بين الله إنه كيس كنسدا وكل شخص بدن أو كره بدن إنه الله أولا ما يو يذا كلي جن كلي جن نماها وحي إسلامه وحي سوامالية نبن إلهي إنه دروس تكدو القاضى السلام عليكم everyone we're all here to support Dega today and we're all advocating for a change we need a change to happen she and all of us were all burdened by the news and what's going on. So let us let us bring the change. Thank you so much. Alaikum, Magarigo wa Anis Liban, Wahan Kamit Ahai, Westerville City Schools Board of Education, Amante Wahanu Imane, Abayadaka Haji, Inan Awino, Wahan Rajene Inana, in a Warkalaha Afimatka, and Al Udibo. For the last two years, she's been battling, she's been demanding to get her proper medical documentations so she can best advocate for her child. Community Gana Mahan Widine Ina, in a Garbi Stagan Abayo. So, inshallah, please. Please, a full press conference will be available very soon. We ask that you reach out to Dekha and figure out how you can best support her. We need to stand by each other. Rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Maga'i guha wa'ahmad bashir 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 wa'ahmad أو حاجة إنه حرمنا إنه نكون بحنا بندق لو 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 قيح حي وحيد عاي سيدا كلنا حاجة إنه حرمنا إنه نكون سبتة إنه سالدة أنت شجني وحن دقنا هيودن هرمري رنتي وشروع كتيره وحيا لها لدوامل براكتس كي النقل جنس كويد عن 
وأنا واحد مهمة إن بلشة سمارة المواطنين تيسور تكتو ده حاجة نوعا روتي كأمانة جسني وده إموجسي إن حاجة أنت ما دو إلش شركة تذكر متقن بلشة إلوا دكتو استوري هذه يوحد عي واحد مهمة هذا إن هذا تكون المجال كلهم بس إن عم تاجرنا وفي نجعان قريب استاج ولاش ده حاجة تحسوا وياها لا تعالي سدي سنة قدم بيستي كيس كسر جاري عن جدا أنصر شجني سبلا ده سبلا ده واحد كل سنين هين الحاجة النداء دخل هالنجا وی اتاق سپس و هم مهم است که سعی کرده رنده لگاری کرده که آن سطحمند اما وح لقیه کرده وحید عای ایضا نقفنا لقف لگادین نقفنا لگاد عشرتی سه و هن آتی کو بهشنا افداری افگابم با این اسمادان برشد هر تعداد سپرداس ای رنده ای قیحان سی وحود عین این عدیان نتیجه دا یا سقوط بندگان فکرش کی اندو ای کنن کسب سنا عنق ای دشده قحاجی من کبری نه هدی بری متقیسه و او حن اول نه حق عصی گاس نه و انجود بین نه دانه بیش از سومالیت و علیکم السلام و رحمت الله و برکات. السلام علیکم و رحمت الله و برکات. مگه ایگو حلی را داد قیو سفحاتی و حنا ایگور سومالیا و کلمبس و های کنول. من تو حن بنام به حسوس سمینه و نوسو بحنه. ارین سامیل و ایگسو گدی. دکتر دا آن استعمال نه کلمبس و های لب دا دکتر سیبا مانکر مسین آن ای نیش شما ای چالچن هست فرا یه دیوایت دیگه سوگاده ویل کیگیر ویل کیگیر مالنتی آن المادلی لیقلی ایو نبر کوگاری که بعدی نه وحی را دن نبر کیگا کردفتی ایلا ایهر نلگیرم ویل کیراین نگ قاتان اسکود دیام کوی کلانین نگ قاتان حد در تو آنگو کمیونیتی و حنگو امی آنگو شگی لب عرمات مر این ایگ حاوی آن نگ تنی هیستا و ویل کیگیر نلی اسو علیو مرکو اینستیتیوشن از نیاد دکتر دن سیدن نالا دکمیانا نالا معامله تلبات نه اینان اون نقد تو ساله خویو یه جبر ول با یه قف ول با ماینورتی که آمریکان کو کنال آمان تو حقوق دیسه لج قاضی اما آن نفتی سو حد لکرینن حرورت نیاری و فیچر کنن و حنو با ناین اینو حرورت ایلالنو دکتر دن و دکتر دی حرورت نه اینو داوی نیای مرکی اینو کن دجال که در رین ای اینو مان تو حنو ویدی نه اینا 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 لسه فرستان و اینا لسه شقیان سی اینو ایله با وحبت بعدی حد که بعدی اینو کت حترنا تنو کل سینا و جدی هنگ بر کلا و آنیو کلا آدی هد بدم هد سنتیم. بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم الحمد لله و صلاة و سلام و رسول الله السلام عليكم و رحمة الله و بركاته. My name is Khalid Turani. I am the executive director of Care Ohio, and I wanted to welcome the community to our office. We're glad to accommodate and and host host. This press conference, it is an important uh, matter that we're going to be discussing here. Uh, this is about the community calls uh, on, on national, uh, nationwide Children's Hospital in Mount Carmel, uh, St. Anne's, uh, to uh, cooperate and release the records. Uh, this is an important matter about parental rights, and uh, we're while we're, we're not glad to be in this occasion that somebody is suffering and somebody's rights are being uh, either withheld or violated, but also we are happy that this community can come together to support one of its own. Uh, and, and with that, I want to turn it over to Sister Anissa to uh, lead us and MC this uh, press conference. My name is Anissa Liban, um, and joining me is Ahmed Ibrahim. We are two family advocates who have been supporting Sister Deka Haji for several months, if not a few years at this point. The purpose of today's gathering is to bring to the community's attention a very unfortunate circumstance that a mother has had to navigate alone. Um, and what we hope to do is today bring that story to light and to hopefully at the end of this uh, press conference be very clear about what our demands and asks are on her behalf. We believe that every parent should have the right to advocate for their child and that every child should have access to quality health care, which we feel that this mother was stripped of. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, our intention is, to, is not to undermine or dis, uh, discredit the efforts and outstanding services provided by the institutions in question. Rather, we want to work together and to make it better. Uh, our mission is to ensure the children are treated with decency and respect when they are removed from their families, placed in foster care, and reunited or reunited with their families. Everyone deserves to uh, be heard, be seen, and respected and supported. Thank you. We also acknowledge the complexity of the issues that said institutions have been dealing with 
and we'll hear, hear a little bit more about those stories, but I want everyone to know that we stand ready to work alongside these entities to create meaningful change. However, we also understand that change cannot happen without honest accountability and a commitment to doing better. With that being said, I would like to turn it over to Mr. Marcus Coleman. Thank you. Good afternoon, good people. The um, DEC has been dealing with this for quite some time, and one of the things that we all know as parents is that the most important things that we are responsible for is protection and provision. She's been making every effort to do that. She's been reaching out through multiple venues to try to get three things that she wants, responsive to her concerns, transparency in the process, and cultural competency. And we feel that's been severely lacking. Dick is going to be able to give you, to illuminate more about this at some point, but this is where we are, and it's what I've been doing as her legal advisor to try to, to address and to accommodate her concerns. It would be great, it, none of us would have to be here if the responsible hospitals would simply respond to her as they would expect of any other person who's advocating for their child. And so that's what we want to do. She's going to give you more information, but that's where we are. That's simply what we're looking for at this point. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, everyone. Easier? Okay. I am the state representative for House District 9, Representative Munir Yassin Abdullahi. Um, I stand with the community today in raising some real challenges that we faced with agencies like Franklin County Children's Services. Um, Dekh is one of many constituents that have come to me with issues with this agency. Um, this is one of the most heartbreaking cases that I've seen in my office, however, though. And while we appreciate the agency's willingness to come to the table and talk about tangible change, we need to start seeing real change. And when it comes to corporations like Nationwide Children's Hospital and Mount Carmel, we have to start seeing active communication to mothers like Decha and so many others who have come forward and some, so many others who have not come forward with issues like this and worse. These mothers deserve answers. They deserve transparency and they deserve cultural competency. So what we're asking for today is an overhaul of the system from these agencies and these hospitals and corporations to respond to constituents like Decha, to respond to their patients, to respect parental rights, to respect their agency, and to care for the children like they promised they would care for the children. And so I'm willing to work with them on this. My office is willing to work with them on this. I'm willing to work with my colleagues on any legislative changes that we can make. We also want to see answers now. Silence is not acceptable. So I'm hoping to see some sort of communication to Decha, her lawyer, and to other families who have asked for similar responses from these agencies and from these hospitals. And inshallah, God willing, we start to see tangible change and we see our families who are supported and treated with dignity and respect and their children are taken care of and they have trust in these institutions because right now there is no trust in these institutions. So let's look forward to further change and speak up. If you've also experienced something similar to this, call my office and let's talk about this. Thank you all for being here today. And I'm thinking I'm gonna call over to the next speaker which is going to be uh, faith leader? I don't know how to Dekha. Haji is going to share her story today. Thank you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakat. Good afternoon to everyone. My name is Dekha Haji. I am here today to share my story. I am a mother. I am a registered nurse. I am a proud advocate for my son, Mahar Muhammad. For the last two years, I've had to navigate an unimaginable situations alone. Since the birth of my now two-year-old son, I have experienced retaliation, being ignored, and being stripped of all my parental rights. I am pleading for your support and seeking justice, clarity, and, and transparency. My son was born at Mount Caramel St. Anne Hospital. I apologize in advance if I choke up. Uh, this has been a traumatic experience for my family and I. Um, my son was born at Mount Carmel um, St. Anne Hospital, where I believe he sustained an injury during an unplanned cesarean section. I want to be very clear that I was very observant, that I was very observant and alert, alert during my procedure in which I have and in which I was partially induced with a regional and regional anesthesia. For those of you that do not know what that means, you are numb from the waist down, so you are alert to know what's actually going on in the uh, procedure room. 
um, and I was eagerly waiting for my babies to cry. My, I was eagerly waiting for two healthy babies to be placed into my arms. However, I was, pl I was given one normal baby and one not so normal. Despite my child's Abigail score, which states an eight, meaning that he was a normal baby, there was nothing vigorous or spontaneous about my child. He was not crying, he was not moving. He just stared at the ceiling. I know what I experienced in that room. During the birth, I observed actions that made me concerned for my child's well-being, but my worries were dismissed. The hospital was eager to discharge us. Despite me, com despite me complaining after birth, I have, brought their, I have brought to their attention numerous times that my child was not the same as baby A, which is Mahan, the first baby that was pulled out after my cesarean section. We were all, we were all still, we were still sent home, only for the injury to manifest at home. Over the next few days at home, it became very, very clear to me that something was not right with my child. As the mother of four children, including my twins, I could see the difference in my son's behavior compared to his siblings. For three, three, for three days, he showed signs of abnormality. And despite my repeated attempts to get answers, Moncarma St. Anne chose not to respond to me, chose to ignore my pain and my child's health and well-being. I cried for help. I, did, I cried for help. I did not receive it until I nearly passed out in my recovery room after birth. They only then called for an ultrasound to be conducted. After the ultrasound, it was determined that fluid has leaked back to, into my liver, so indeed my pain was real and I was not faking it. At that time, they did realize that they needed to treat me and reinserted uh, my IV and gave me the proper pain management I needed. They have refused to disclose vital information, including my child's records, leaving me and my legal counsel unable to advocate for my child fully. These documents, which were requested to, we, which we are requesting to be released to me, intact and untampered with, are critical. I should not have to be. I should not have to face unimaginable roadblocks to advocate for my child. I want to be clear that I, have only, that I have only partial medical records, and I am requesting that all my medical records be released to me. Despite my constant plea for clarity and request by my lawyers, Moncara Masain and Hospital has yet to disclose these records. I am here to demand accountability. As a healthcare professional myself, I understand the importance of transparency and I refuse to accept anything less than the truth about what happened to my child. Unexpectedly, one night, as my child was being fed by his father, what every parent's nightmare is took place. What I have been cautioning and reporting took place. As my child was feeding, he choked and started bleeding from his mouth and nose. He was immediately transported to Nationwide Children's Hospital for treatment and was there diagnosed to have a chronic brain injury. For eight weeks, I had my child at home and he was slowly bleeding in his brain and we had no idea. Something that could have been easily prevented. He was then placed in the care of Franklin County Children's Services. Throughout this time, I have been denied my rights to make essential medical decisions for my child. I have, fully, I have full parental rights per court orders, yet time after time again, I have been dismissed and denied access to vital medical decisions for my son. I am requesting specific accommodations and interventions, but my requests have been ignored. This is unacceptable and a clear violation of both my parental and civil rights. No parent should be forced to stand by while their child's health is deteriorating due to poor health care and lack of communication. As a mother, it is devastating to see my child not receive the proper treatment. It is devastating. 
It is devastating to see my child not receive the proper treatment. And it, it is even more painful to be sidelined from making decisions that could improve my child's quality of life. Initially, FCCS has denied me access to my son. Thankfully, only recently, they began to cooperate. And while this is great, I have other demands that need to be addressed, uh, and, uh, addressed to ensure that my child is advocated for. This is a small, this is a small step does not erase the pain, agony, trauma that my family have endured for nearly three years now and the pain of being kept away from your child. Nationwide Children Hospital has completely anchored Mount Carmel St. Anne and have stripped me of my rights and neglected my child with the hopes of him passing away so their false allegations of child abuse um, and the narrative they have written about us can be perpetrated. We are his parents and we are being criminalized for injuries caused by them. Nationwide Children Hospital continues to treat me as an, as, as an outsider, discarding my expertise and my rights to be involved in my son's care. No mother should have to endure this, and no child should suffer because of lack of communication and cooperation between institutions that are supposed to be protecting us, serving us. Before I move on to what I have to say next, I want to stop here and give you guys two prime examples of the discrimination, profiling, and the overall prejudice that I have experienced at Nationwide Children's Hospital. My child was in the ICU. He was bleeding from every hole possible. My child was being sectioned, canisters, canisters of blood was being sectioned. It's still my child was discharged from the ICU as he was stable. I begged and I pleaded with those doctors. I was in the worst place a parent could be, and I begged them to help me, to help my child. And the ICU attending approached me, and he looked me in the eyes and said, ma'am, I can see that your child is in pain and that you are in pain. My suggestion to you is to let him go. Oh Immediately, what I was feeling disappeared. If I was crying, my tears dried up. Whatever emotions I was feeling completely disappeared. I have a human being suggesting that another human being's life be taken away because he's a burden, because he's too much for them to take care of. Nationwide Children's Hospital have called security and the police on me multiple times for merely asking for pain medication for my son. They would perform surgeries on this child and give him Tylenol and Ibuprofen for pain management. Surgeries that an adult could not suffer through. And when I advocated for him, I was told that he didn't appear to be in pain. How can he appear or show you that he's in pain when he's a completely dependent, nonverbal child? His only form of communication is the tears that come from his eyes. And you're telling me that he's not in pain. All of the complaints that we have filed with the Patient Relations Office at Nationwide Children's Hospital have fallen below belt. Not one of our complaints have been addressed. We went as far as to request in a meeting with the CEO and he sent the medical administrator. At this time, we have, we have expressed to the medical administrator our concerns, not only for my family, but also for my community. At this time, we have faced another roadblock. As the medical administrator told us, what we were saying had no valid basis, and they would have to go back and ask the people we were reporting, basically confronting the people we had issues with. Nationwide, has cho Nationwide Children Hospital has to come speak with my community. They have to speak with me. They have to address these very serious concerns that we have. We have one too many children in our community that are now affected with health and medical conditions that are unexplained. Parents are not able to speak for themselves and request the information that they need to make the decisions that they would like to make for their children. Over the last two years, I have I have endured distress and trauma caused by Mount Carmel St. Anne and Nationwide Children's Hospital violation of my parental rights. The longer, the longer they take to respond to medical recommendations, the likelihood of my son experiencing a health crisis increase. 
The lack of communication and the lack of respect for my parental rights has inflicted trauma on my family. This is not just about one family. This is about holding these institutions accountable for the discrimination and negligence that they, that they are inflicting on families. Today, I am asking you for support, my community. I cannot fight this alone. I cannot fight this battle alone. I should not have to fight this battle alone. I am here to demand that Mount Carmel St. Anne and Nationwide Children's Hospital be truthful. To provide me with all of my untampered medical records. To meet with me, my community leaders, and legal advisors. To explain the current treatment plan for my son. I am asking that they answer my questions quickly as my child's life depends on it. I have, I have a completely de bedridden, dependent, vulnerable child. The least you can do is address me and my community. I do not want my family, I do not want another family to endure what I have. The last two years have been a nightmare. I have been mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially drained and exhausted. I have been outpowered and out-resourced and completely sunk into a system that I am defenseless against. And I am simply requesting a meeting to understand the medical decisions being made for my son. I want to reiterate that my child's medical records are being falsified. They are being weaponized in a court of law and used against us as his parents to criminalize us. This is wrong. This is wrong for my family. This is wrong for any parent or for any child. We demand that the institutions that are healing our youth address us and please work with us to fix the disparities amongst our community and these institutions. Thank you so much for your time. Assalamualaikum everyone. My name is Amal Abdullahi. First and foremost, I want to thank this opportunity to thank the Almighty God for allowing us to come together. Second, I want to thank each and every one of you for taking the time out of your busy schedules to be here with us in this time of difficulty. We stand together in demanding justice for Dekka and our family. What happened to them was unacceptable and shouldn't happen to any one of us. And we will not stop until the truth is known. We stand together in unwavering solidarity to let everyone know that this must stop and it must stop now. If we don't come together, if we don't talk about it, what's going on, if we don't support each other, this is going to continue to happen. She is not the first and she will definitely not be the last. So I appreciate every one of you that showed up today. We must not stop this fight until every child gets the treatment that they need, every parent gets the respect that, she need, that they need. Dekka has been dealing with this for the past two years. I'm pretty sure not many people have known. But now that our community is becoming aware of it, we need to stand together and fight against this. And inshallah, I'm hoping and praying that her child will come home safe and sound, inshallah. I appreciate you all coming out. Jazakumullah khair. Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am not sure if I can say much after hearing the testimony of Deqa and Amal. Um, that was painful to listen to. Uh, we deserve just justice. We deserve to be heard. Human beings, persons, are at the center of this problem, not just procedures. It's about families with special needs. It's about children from diverse origins and a community that demands that their kids to be treated <clears throat> with the utmost respect and decency. Mm -hmm. This is the reason that we're requesting that every employee of these organizations receive extensive and in-depth training on cultural sensitivity. These organizations' employees must have a thorough understanding of the areas they serve. Learning about various cultures, language, experiences is necessary in order to make decisions that are in the best interest of our kids sir, and all kids in general. Taking into account of their background, identity, 
and community in which they live. Cultural competence and sensitivity are necessities, not just options. I urge each and every one of you to stand behind our sister Deca. Uh, she has a case and we will not stop, we will not rest until justice prevails. I thank you. Assalamu alaikum. وحن لها مركب أول رئيسة إلى ما ماذا سكالي ماشي أنا أوصف كأنا وحن ماذا علني إنه ضد كسر شقية كل إن كان مهم كأه ولا شيء إنه حاوي ذا قحاتي يفهمل كذا كصاب سنجارهن أو شنو مدردير وحاوي سو سعتي مركب كوا بعد وحن ماذا علني إنه ضد كسر قيب قاتي ذي تاي لوير كا ذي تاي كير ذي تاي حلمان منيرة مشرر حلمان ديني نمان كوميونتي كلا قبله إنه ونعكسنا وكسر قيب قلي أنا وكوا هذا يا أبكا أي مذا وحاوي جارهن مساجدة أرنت هذا سيادة هيل يهوبا جبرنا إنه ولا كده بستعجل إن شاء الله وتعالى قدم كلا بعض يفرين كلا بعض إسبتال كاس وحاوي دبات هذا المهو جيستي في عمل كان دبات هذا كوهيا وحان كوع صنع إن إن ودجيستو فرين تا وحاوي كمان إذا كمون تجا أضيق كلا واجب كيس أيام مرين دونا إن شاء الله وتعالى وحان بلن عين إن شاء الله وتعالى إن أرد كهرين أو أن مل صارنا أضيق لهير هذا ودن كان كمون تبا لو إنه ليهاي ده كوا كمون تي إسبتال كوا حاوي قيب عن كنا هاي إسمه سي جرتان كيس أيو يا أكنومي جيسة إنت بقى مركا إنه أنا جينا دبعتيه وعروت يعني ساق دبعتيه فاميلك ساق دبعتيه معك بلا إنه هذي لا يلادو حلو بنا لنا هاي ومسؤولين بنا لنا هاي وحن لنا هاي وحاوي هن كوميتي بنا لنا هاي ودنك قريب بنا لنا هاي ما أقولان إنه إن لو واحد جذب حقوق إن شاء الله تعالى إذا كان ما سنتين جزاكم الله خير السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله um, as Sheikh Mutar spoke for the faith leaders, uh, it's very important to realize that that which happened or the case that occurred to our sister Deqa uh, is something that is unacceptable on faith basis. Mount Carmel uh, is a hospital that is found by a religious institution and that they perpetrate some of the things that our sister has went through is something that is immoral and criminal. So we ask for them to do us right as a community, to do our sister right, and to immediately release all records and to also, uh, to also face the grievances that, are, that they are being uh, informed of. We also uh, demand the same from Nationwide Children's Hospital and from all involved government institutions. We as a community will not stand in silence as we watch transgression happen to one of our own. And this is what God demands and this is what God has told us when he told us to stand by justice. We stand by justice and we have to not remain in silence and we have to speak out loud against transgression and we demand from the hospitals and from the government organizations that they give us our due rights in regards to this matter. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. And, um, now that having heard from uh, Sister Daqa, and I'm sorry about what you have gone through, you and your family, the last time I checked, this is America. We're not a communist country where an institution will take a charge of a child and strip a parent of her parental rights. So this is unacceptable. This is completely unacceptable. And as the Council on American Islamic Relations here in Ohio, we're going to stand by our sister. And we're going to demand that justice be served, that her rights be restored, and that these hospitals will give her her records and will inform her about her child's case. This is unacceptable on all levels. On the human level, on the parental rights level, on the child's rights level. And for, for these institutions to act with impunity is it's just contrary to everything we came to America to enjoy. To enjoy the freedom of having our children and having our rights as parents, as individuals, as human beings. And for these rights to be stripped by these institutions is, is something that we're going to fight. 
every step of the way. And we are ready to talk to them, to discuss with them, to accommodate them in terms of conversations. However, in the final analysis and at the end of the day, our sister Daqa is going to have her rights restored and she's going to have her records and whatever we can do as an organization and as an institution, we're going to do in order for that to happen. When you look around here and you see this community, this community didn't come to CARES Ohio's office for the coffee. They came because they want to stand with our sister Daqa and make sure, making sure that her rights are going to be restored and that is exactly what we're going to do. Okay, just a uh, few other things. Uh, the very first thing is I want to, uh, I'd be remiss if I did not um, express my appreciation for CARE of Ohio and, and their support and continued support in this matter. Just a couple things regarding uh, where DECA is. She's asking for responsiveness, transparency, and cultural competency. That's essentially it. So what does that mean? Responsiveness, responsiveness means that she is reaching out to these people and she's seeking answers to understand the process of what's been happening with her son. That's something that anyone in this room, anyone in this country would expect. Now, cultural competency, that, that seems you know a bit kind of vague. Here's what that means uh, for DECA. Do I matter? And how do I know if I matter? It's not what you tell me, it's what you show me. Why? Because we see better than we hear. Show me that I matter by being responsive and being transparent. If they can do that, we're perfectly fine. Two other agencies, uh, FCC and, and NIAP, have been very cooperative here recently and, and we have no complaints with them at this point. What we're talking about are the hospitals. There's just a couple of other quick matters that DECA wants to illuminate for the, uh, for the, uh, the, the audience and uh, we'd like to have her come up and say a couple of things. My legal advisor asked me to come back and um, kind of elaborate on some of the medical requests that we are currently asking for. As we currently speak, my child uh, care has been transported back to um, Nationwide Children's Hospital, although I have requested for my child care to be um, in Cincinnati Children's Hospital. This was done against my will. Once my child was transported back to Nationwide Children's Hospital, we have recently learned that they have removed the port um, that he had. My child has been poked since he was born. He has no more veins left. For this reason, he can get into a critical medical situation at any time, meaning he needs a quick access and he needs life-saving measure medication to be administered right there and then. With them removing the port right now, he's unable to get any rescue medication. God forbid he has uh, a, an emergency. We were recently told that they were not going to reinsert the port, even though I, as his parent, is requesting for it to be inserted back. We were told, rather, if the child ends up having a medical emergency, they will perform something called an I.O. That is when they have to drill the bone to get, to, to get access to administer medication to the child. I ask anyone who is watching me, would you, who would wait until the last minute till something happened to their child to expose them to be drilled? I don't want my child's bone to be drilled. I want my child to be provided with the care that he needs. I was taken to court because they wanted to put a port in him that I disagreed with. I was taken to court for things that are well within my right. My parental rights have been stripped. My civil rights have been stripped. I need them restored. I need my child back with me. And I need to know this is not going to happen to another woman in my community. Luckily, I am able to stand in front of you to, uh, to convey my message to you clearly, to be able to get the appropriate representation that I need, to be able to speak to these doctors and be very transparent for my child's decisions, the decisions we have chosen to make for him. I am able to do all of that. What about for the next woman that's not able to do that? That's not able to sit in that room. That's not able to look in your face. It's not able to give you actual facts. I have been pleading and begging for these agencies to work with me for nearly three years. I want to fix the gap. I want to bridge the gap. We trust these institutions to heal our community. We want to work with you guys. We can only do that if you are reciprocating what we are saying. Thank you very much.
thank you all again for being here. I want to thank again uh, Brother Khalid Turani, who is the Executive Director at Care Ohio, for allowing us to gather today at the Care Ohio office. I want to thank Mr. Marcus Coleman, who has done an outstanding job in representing and providing legal counsel to Deqa Haji and to her family. I want to thank our amazing state representative, Munir Abdullahi, who uh, she and her office have tried many times to reach out to these institutions, not just because Sister Deqa is a Somali and a Muslim, but because she is a constituent and her rights matter, just as anyone else's uh, rights matter. I want to thank all of our community members and our imam for being here today to support Sister Deqa. Just two demands today. Please, please, please help us in demanding that Sister Deqa's medical records are provided to her in its entirety and to also make sure that she can get a meeting with Nationwide Children's Hospital so that she can understand why these medical decisions are being made for her child without her um, without her perspective and without her without her blessing. And then finally, to make sure that all medical institutions in our community are really, really understanding the importance of having cultural competency trainings. And so those are our three demands today. Assalamu alaikum and thank you all so much for being here.